Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a My Team thumbnail so let's get straight into it. First thing you wanna do is go to Photoshop, File, New, and you just wanna pick this right here, 1280 by 720. After you do this, you can just get your screenshot, and then you go File, Open, and to pick whichever one you want, just um, click it and open it. Hit Control C on it, then go here, Control V. Once you hit Control V, what you can do is just resize it to whatever size you want. And to do this, I'm probably gonna pick like a size like this right here. And just leave it like that. And after I do that, I'll be back with y'all. Alright, so now what you want to do is hit P on the keyboard, go to the pen tool. And basically, you just want to um, cut them out. So you can just cut out like this. I do have a tutorial on that. I'll put that in the description for y'all. But yeah, just cut this out and I'll show you what to do when you get to the end. So once you get to the end of the cutout, you just want to connect dots like so right click and make selection Then you want to go right here now you can put zero or one I usually just choose one and I'm just do that right there You don't have to do that, but you can choose this right here and then you can hit control J and then you can just disable the mask Create a new layer then hit control E and basically with this right here what you can do is hit B and you should have that mask right there and you can just come in here and get whatever you want out of it and if you want to put something back on you can just change the color to white so if i take this off i want to put it back on just change the color to white and it'll come back but that's basically how you use that tool so i'm gonna just take this out and i'll be back with y'all all right so now that i did this right here next thing i'm gonna do is go to blend the options and what i'm probably gonna do is put an eye glow on this pick about the same color on the shirt like that right there and then I'm gonna do an inner shadow. And I'm gonna have a, yeah, this inner shadow right here. And you can just copy what I'm doing. Have something like that right there. And then for the inner glow, do not put that on. We're gonna put this on linear dodge of the range. Then mess with the size and kind of have it like this. And what we're gonna do is pick that same color off of the shirt so it looks something like that right there. And then we can bring back in the background that we actually had. Go down here, pick hue and saturation. And we're gonna pick about the same color that we have on that image. So. We will have something like this, and you can lower the lightness or the lightness, do whatever you want. But I'm going to show you how to make it, the colors kind of look better anyway. All right, so basically what I just did, also I added, I went to blend options, added a drop set on this, so you can do that if you want to also. All right, so next thing I did was drawing another image, and I'm going to actually put this image behind this one right here. So what we're going to do is go through that whole cutout process again. But since some of the background is actually blurred out, what you can do to make this a little bit easier, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm gonna just um, put this back here, but just find the correct spot you want to put it at. Probably put my like, um, yeah, I'll probably put a lot right there, or you can put it over here. It's really up to you, but I'm gonna just put mine about right here. So once you find the perfect spot, like I said, you can take this off. And what you can do is, you control S, make sure you save it. I'm gonna just save it at this right here, and. What we can do, go to this tool right here, the quick selection tool, and you can try to quick select the whole image. This only if like the background you see it blurred out, so it'll be easier to use it. But you can just do this and make sure you're on the one that's selecting it. So you just do this to the whole image, and I'm gonna be back with y'all when I actually do it. I'm gonna show you how to cut out with it and stuff. All right, so as you can see, I still have some spots missing, but the good thing about this mask tool, see, you can do stuff like that. And then if you want to take it back, like fix anything, you just hit B on your keyboard. And like I say, you had a black one, so you can just go around the edges, make it look a little bit better, like so. And yeah, you can fix the edges and you can bring stuff back in. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and I'll be back with y'all when I fix everything. Alright, so now that you kind of fix your cutout somewhat, so I'm going to fix it up some more, but what you can do when you kind of fix it out, 
just put this image right here above then right click copy this image and right click paste layer style on here and you should have something like this and like i said if you want to bring this over a little bit or you just want to change the position in general you can do stuff like this so if i just want to bring this over just so i can get the background showing a little bit more i could do that but next thing i'm gonna do is probably add an image of the yoshi's um i hope i said that right yokish card right here and yeah all right i brought in the image of the card basically what i did was went to google right click copy the image and it's a lot of different images but i'm probably going to just use this card right here what i would do is put the card right here and then i'll right click and paste layer style so it looks something like this and you don't have to do it exactly like this but like if you just wanted to i don't know do something like that shoot you can do that but i'm gonna just have mine like that right there like i said and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next after I fix the background because it look a little bit empty back here. All right, so what I did was add a sunburst. I just went in my sentence, I mean, not send it, but file, then open, and I'll put the sunburst on um, down below also. But if you wanna make the sunburst like show a little bit more, you can up the lightness on it or you can either turn down the lightness. It's just to whatever you wanna do with it. I'm probably gonna turn up my lightness so I can get the show a little bit more. But as you can see, I add the sunburst like I just said, and you can put it wherever you want. You can have it coming from right there or coming from back here. I'm gonna just have mine right there for now. Next thing I'm gonna do is go up here, go to brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna up the brightness on these images a little bit more, just so I can make it look right. And you can put both of them on 17, or you can have one higher than the other. It's up to you, but I'm gonna also up the brightness on this right here. So just come down here, brightness, and I'm gonna up that. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to the top of the image, go to brightness and contrast again, but this time I'm gonna just add some more contrast to the image so it can look a little bit better. All right, so last thing I did to the thumbnail was basically just, I went to Google, typed in Denver Nuggets, which is his team, and I put this on here. Now, what I'm gonna do after doing this is I'm gonna create a new layer at the top, um, go down here and grab that color. You can just pay attention to what I'm doing, and I'm gonna go around the whole thing with this right here. This basically like the um, black, just a black brush, basically. And I'm gonna give my brush settings right after I get done doing this. So here are my brush settings right here. Now, what I do is I put one on soft light, lower the opacity a little bit then control j put another one on normal and after i put on normal you can just mess with the opacity again and kind of have something like that next thing i'm gonna do is go to file open i'm gonna go to effects and i will put this in the comment section i'm gonna either put the animated lines on here or i'm gonna just put the on um, recording simple but to do it to put the animated lines you just want to go in here and hit screen and yeah you can kind of put it wherever you want i'm probably put mine right here I think I am just gonna put the anime lines. Make sure you put it below there right there though. And it should look something like this. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is throw the 2K logo on here. And I know this is like 2K, one of y'all probably looking like, oh, that's 2K21, yeah, that's 2K20. I mean 2K20, but shoot, you can throw whatever logo on here if you want. I'm just showing you how to make like a thumbnail like this. So I'm gonna just throw the 2K21 logo on here. Probably put it like um down here, or you can put it up top, or you can put it like to the left. It's up to you whether you want to do it, but I'm probably just put it like to the left over here. All right, so after you do that, that's pretty much it for the thumbnail. I'm gonna try to think of something else to add, but if I don't, I'll just be bad with y'all, and that'll pretty much be it. All right, so one thing I did add was some vibrance, and I'm gonna put that on there. All right, and next thing I probably will add, create a new layer and hold alt, and make sure you're on the burst tool, you can hit B by going there, just hold alt, click. And then click again, hold all click, click again, and just do that to the different colors on the screen. And you just don't do it to that right there though. Just make sure you do it on like to different colors though. And just keep doing this right here. After you do that, put it on screen and you can lower the opacity. I know the next thing I should do is go to these images right here, hold all and get like that same color. And what I would do, just go to the edges. And you can do this also, just go to the edge then probably go right here and then um probably get some right there and you basically just want to get different colors in like not different colors but you know what i mean just put colors on here or you can um have something like this and you can put it on screen load opacity on it and you can take it off and put it back on to see different you can even do soft light i know soft light should work also yeah, I'll probably do soft light because it looks better than like it just looks like it's on there. So you can do soft light and you can take it off and put it back on to see the difference. Or you can do screen. It's just pretty much up to you. But I'm going to do this for the other character also. I'm probably not going to skip through it again. I'll just show you me doing it. 
yeah do that and you'll just other character do the same thing hold alt and just on um, click with it and down here change it to white get right here probably add some a little bit of green or something and yeah you can just do that after you do this just i'm, I'm gonna do screen just so you just put on screen and do like that right there and basically when you're done with that what you can do is just hit control s to say your work if you haven't already and next thing we'll do just hold shift go to the bottom then group it then hit control j i mean yeah you group it hit control j then hit control e so you have a copy of it then you just want to do like that right there go across with the marquee tool up here you can right click it to change it hit control j on that leave the layer below it hit control s again make sure you're saving your work now you want to go in here convert to smart object after you convert to smart object go up in here and go to camera raw filter all right so now you're in camera raw filter if you already have presets what you easily could do is just go to preset if you need if you want to know like what presets i use just hit me up and i'll send you to what uh where to purchase it but if you don't have any presets i just basically show you what to do so yeah now one thing i do with these on um, my team thumbnails even though i don't make them and shout out gb3 because he did put me on how to make like my team thumbnails i don't know if you can tell but basically what you want to do is just up your texture to 100 that'll make it look really nice when you're doing these type of thumbnails right here another thing you can do is mess with the contrast a little bit and you can mess with like the highlights or whatever it's just a lot of different stuff you can mess with when you're making these type of thumbnails so you can just do whatever you want because i know everybody will have access to this and they're making it in photoshop so you can just up the vibrance a little bit more maybe up the saturation a little bit more now over here you can change the colors up like if you just want to get real nice with it you can change the colors to like different type of stuff but yeah and hit control z if you mess up on anything so you can just go back but this is basically how you do that right there next thing i know some people do they add green i used to add green i guess i can add like seven on here that's about most i go when i do add it but that's pretty much all i add to my thumbnails some people add clarity too they just do that little effect right there but yeah like i said that's pretty much it you can go up the exposure a little bit more but you know how to do all this so i'm just hit okay because that's all i wanted to do to it and the good thing about the smart filter down here you can take it off and put it back on so it'll show a difference like that next thing i'm gonna do is go to magic bullet and if you need this just hit me up on twitter or you can just hit me in the comment section i'll try to explain to you and basically you can add diffusion if you want to i stopped using this a while ago but you can just mess with the grade to make it look better or whatever but you don't really have to add it if you want one thing i do like to add is this right here and you can mess with it the more you go with it like the more to do i probably do like 100 on, on my team thumbnail or something like that when you're done with it just hit finish and that's pretty much it for that i let that load up all right so next thing i do add on these thumbnails is topaz labs just go down here go to mild details and you don't have to add a sprint up that much you can just have something like this or if you want to have like a different type of effect you go to filter then go to noise and reduce your noise i used to do this on my thumbnails but when you do this it like takes the texture out of it so it's just up to you and you can hit control z to go back on it all right so last thing i do hit control j go to filter then i go to blur and i go to gaussian blur you can just pick the same amount if you want now I'm gonna go to lighter color and it'll give this like this type of effect. It's kind of like a glow effect. That's why I want to use the diffusion in um magic bullet. So I'll probably have like around 25 on my team thumbnail or something like that. And when you take it off and put it back on, you can see the difference. It's like a little glow you can add on the thumbnail. Alright, so next thing you want to do is um make a new layer up here. Hit B on your keyboard. We basically gonna do that whole brush effect thing over again. And like i said this don't have to be a 2k thumbnail like this um you can basically make any type of thumbnail you want i'm just showing you specifically a 2k thumbnail and you just want to click the colors and yeah do it like that right there after you get done go to screen now line screen and just lower your opacity to that right there you take it off put it back on one thing i do when i'm done i do the black burst effect one more time also and I just go around with it. You can do it real quick. It ain't gotta be nothing crazy. But just do that. Add soft light to it. You can load opacity on soft light. Then put it to normal. 
and you want to lower the opacity even more on normal so that's pretty much how i made my um my team thumbnail this video will help you out make sure you drop a like subscribe it would be highly appreciated and leave me with dragon peace out